In this video, we will create the base of the chassis. We will use the three different types of C-channels, hardware, and the four configurations of the wheel mount. Start a new assembly and pin down the Begin Assembly menu. Now insert the two short C-frames and the two outer C-frames. The first component inserted is fixed, but we need to reorient it. Right-click on it in the Feature Manager and select Float. Let's define the position of an outer C-channel instead. Click Mate and expand the Flying Feature Manager. Select the assembly's top plane and mate it with the right plane of an outer C-channel. Continue by mating their front planes, making sure you flip the alignment. Finally, mate the right plane of the assembly coincident with the top plane of the channel. Notice that the part doesn't have the minus sign anymore, which means it's fully defined. Continue using coincident mates between the U-faces, the outer faces, and the lateral faces of the channels in order to obtain the following result. Next, insert an inner C-frame and add two coincident relations as follows. Don't forget to flip the mate whenever necessary. To fix its position, add a distance mate between the long narrow faces of the inner and the short C-frames. Type 3.875 inches and flip the dimension. Click OK and switch back to isometric view. To easily insert a second inner C-channel, hold the control key down and click and drag from the feature manager. Then mate it in the same way on the other side of the base. Notice how all of the components are now fully defined. Next, insert a corner extrusion. Place a coincident mate between its top surface and the inside top surface of the outer C-frame. Add a concentric mate between the corner circular surface of the extrusion and the first hole of the respective C-channel. It would be natural to add another concentric relation to fix the extrusion, but the holes are not perfectly aligned and SolidWorks sometimes gives an error. Instead, expand the Feature Manager and right-click Show on the line sketch of the corner component. Then make it parallel to an edge of the channel. Click OK, then hold the control button down to drag another corner extrusion in the assembly. Using the same procedure as earlier, mate it symmetrically on the inner C-channel. Click OK, then insert a short bolt into the assembly. Mate it concentric to the second hole on the outer C-frame. Then add a coincident relation to make it flush to the frame. To stop its rotation, add a parallel mate between one of the inside flat faces of the bolt and the narrow face of the frame. Click OK and insert the nut. Make its inside circular face concentric with the outer face of the bolt. Add a coincident relation between its outside flat face and the bottom face of the frame. Then place a parallel mate to stop its rotation. Click OK and press the spacebar to switch back to isometric view. Instead of inserting each bolt and nut manually, add a pattern to save time. From the Assembly tab, select Linear Component Pattern. Select one edge of the outer C-frame for direction, set the spacing to 1 inch and type 4 for number of instances. Click inside the Components to Pattern box and select the bolt and the nut from the Feature Manager or from the Graphics area. Then right-click or click OK. In the next video, we will complete the hardware and we will add the four wheel mounts.